And welcome to Flexible Games, where we are kicking off a new series in Power to the People. This is a pretty highly rated game, and uh, it's all about uh, delivering power to a growing city. Um, you don't, I don't think you directly control the city itself, but you, you have to deliver power, and you have to keep up with demand um, in order to do so. So, yeah, blackouts, those are bad. Everything, you know... I everything about power systems and uh hopefully the units are realistic and not you know a megawatt per house but uh we'll see because i haven't played at all and we're gonna we're gonna go in and uh start it off um uh should we look at the tutorial let's let's just jump into a quick tutorial here um uh let's 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 try it Perks and challenges. Climate information. Okay, so you can see we have to deal with weather, probably heating. Wind speed probably gives us power generation for wind turbines. Uh, chance of rain or snow, uh, pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure what these two lines mean. Maybe this is wind and then temperature and then chance of rain or snow I guess in, in this one um, customers will get unhappy after one hour without power home cook no power use of spice for restaurants at dinner time okay a very limited tutorial okay so Pretty straightforward, isometric. Very uh, transport tycoon esque. Wow, that that zoom is a little dis discerning. Eight point four megawatts. Okay, so let's. Uh, my name is Bob. Okay, Bob the Bob the dude here. Um, electricity and ever growing population. Because uh, in the right corner of oh, the screen drops, the game is over. Top part of the screen, we have a lot of useful information, date, weather report, etc. Now you have access to infinite money. Um, action bar, here's all of the things and the stuff that we can do. Uh, mini map is over here. These are pretty. Okay, so the demand trend, you can see. I picked. Uh, uh, Imperial units, miles per hour, degrees Fahrenheit. I picked a 12-hour clock, a.m. p.m. Just that's what I'm used to. Um, just as arbitrary as the other units, so whatever. Um, let's start with the basics. You can move the camera. Yeah, I, I'm I'm aware of that. Yeah, yeah. rotate Q and E. Um, why why am I not why am I not able there we go I don't know how things work uh, deliver low voltage electricity to the building but your power plants produce high voltage okay so we need transformers um, all right new power plant gas fired power plant seventy thousand. Um, okay, so it wants me to build one here. Substation. All right, so we need a substation. What is substations? We want one of those here. Okay. High voltage power line. And then low voltage power line. Ah, I hit R. Oh, we can go right over 
that. Okay. Gas power running on electricity transmitted the subsidies will turn a low low soon too. Okay. Ooh. End of day one reached. Yay. Okay, so they're giving us some money for all of the megawattage used. Total energy demand. Total energy sold. So that's doing pretty good. Fixed expenses. So we've, I mean, we made, we actually made net profit of money, which is good. When the day ends, you'll be able to freeze time to expand your and repair your power grid. Once you start time again, there's no stopping until the end. Oh, ooh, that is interesting. Uh, pause until you press N or play button the time you need to upgrade your infrastructure. And then you have just place you decide to bulldoze them. Okay, so this is a new restaurant. So, capacity is 30 megawatts. Back capacity is 100 megawatts. Use capacity 8.32. So if we if we hit N, you'll be okay with one more. Low voltage lines can carry up to 30 megawatts. So you see that we. I mean, we won't, we won't exceed that. I don't think in a, in a day we won't exceed that. Same goes for substations. Keeping it at peak power during several hours, though, might cause an explosion. Ooh. Like maintenance, energy storage, research, how weather affects your power grid. You right click on power plants and substation. You actually have settings. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, overloaded policy. Oh, that just ended the tutorial. No, let's just start. Uh, main campaign. I mean, sure. Phoenix. Ooh. Influence points. And you can play different cities and to start your career. So you have to. I think you have to do the campaign. In order to move forward. Yeah, see, there's the influence points right there. Um, Jakobstad. Okay. Map size small. Do not, do not cause increased power. Okay, fireplace. Cities grow slowly, high wind speeds, high income. Lower running costs. Available here if you don't have enough. Okay. Um, or you can select. Okay. Strategic. The game will be paused in stage so you can use that time. Never stops for you. Well, I, uh, let's go strategic first. Until I get used to the game. Um, Hyder is a manager for a local electric company. You need to keep customer satisfaction over 50% during 50 days. Okay. So, uh, where should we? New city being built in seven days. Um, so, growing slowly, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. You have to be careful about ice information on your power line. Ooh, 
That's interesting. You'd think the power lines wouldn't be, wouldn't, you know, wouldn't icicle themselves. Okay, power sources. We need some power plants. 25 megawatts. Uh, do we have, we have 7.5 megawatt demand. Uh, so, gas fired, 70,000. Oh, I only have 200,000. So, photovoltaic, no, it's probably a bad idea here. Biomass, no. I mean, wind turbines might be a good option. But we would then be beholden to the wind. Wind is wind is okay. What I think I'm gonna do is operating cost three megawatts. Ooh, look at that. Nine megawatts. Gas fired is seven. Medium pollution level. Let's build that over here. 102,000. Uh, we're going to build that over here. And then we need a substation. Flywheel snow. Wow, look at. Uh, this. There we go. Um, efficiency 93. Maybe radius 3 tiles. Basic. So this does 35 megawatts. Let's, let's go with one of these first. And then we go high power to there. And then we go to there. Okay. Uh, that one there. Okay, so then we hit N. Daily trend. You can see this right here is where I think that's, yeah demand we have plenty of generation noon is going to come by we might get a spike for lunch I'm not sure I guess not <clears throat> we should see a small spike for dinner time looks like this housing shopping street okay 5% higher usage during cold weather. So now we're up to 14 megawatts. Not ideal. I mean, we still have plenty of capacity. Remember, this only can do 35. So use capacity 16. I think everybody's happy there. New city building being built. I wonder, is that going to pop in somewhere? All right, so now, now demand is going down again. Nine point 
8.9, wow, really dropping. Yay, so we made two grand, which is good. Um, I'm glad I didn't, uh, I'm glad I didn't go with the more expensive options. Um, I could have probably, I'm not sure about maintenance. Uh, how cold are we? 34 degrees. Uh, can we do research? Reinforced transformers, high energy, staff training. Maintenance done to, oh. Energy efficiency. Available research points one. Next research point in 24 hours. So we get one research point a day. I think. Upgraded generators. So I'm definitely going to want staff training. Like these two are going to be important. And then, you know, the generation... Okay, so let's go with another another day. We made double the amount that time. Interesting. Wow, we sold a lot of power. Um, how are we doing? Looks like we had somebody coming in there. I don't see anybody that doesn't have power, which is good. And now we have a research point. Staff training. Maintenance, downtime, and power plants. Excellent. Should we have an energy storage solution? Hmm. These are kind of expensive. Flywheel storage. Storage capacity, 50 megawatts. $300 a day. Molten salt. Hmm. So as long as our power demand, it's interesting the city is using 8.4 and yet we're pulling over nine here. So we gotta be very, very careful. You'll be able to upgrade power plants and substation level two once you have 20 influence points. Wow. Hmm. So I could have probably gotten away with you know a wind turbine if we look at generation 22 well maybe not either that or if i would have if i would have merged like a wind turbine with some power storage we probably could have done it the power storage would have allowed me to bump up a little bit for the for the day So we're not even coming close to 40. 17. 
It's kind of weird that the numbers are kind of off. Total energy sold today. 20 mega. Well, we're, we're getting close to that peak. Um, I'm not seeing any. Okay. So where, wherever that new city is being built, I need to be careful. I mean, we're we're generating lots of power. I don't know what what is this bar here. Whoa, something happened. Hey, a new development. Fast food restaurant under construction. Okay. All right, pretty decent day. Efficiency, why is my efficiency? The shorter the paths between substations and the request is better. Okay. Um, so, The distance from here to the city, even though you can't build these in city limits, um, that distance hurts. All right. Um, now, I wonder if storage setting. Fixed cost per day, $1,400. $7. Maintenance due in eight days. Um, so, research as far as that goes. Maintenance downtown power plants reduced by 50%. Do you think we're going to need some power storage? That's 15 grand. That's 900 a day. Flywheel storage, 300 a day. We could put two of these down. It's a little bit more expensive. NIMBY radius, 10 tiles. Wow. Fifty megawatt hours. So that's fifty megawatts over an hour. Yeah, if we have downtime, if that power plant goes down, we're gonna need something. Thousand a day, yeah. I, we're going to need some sort of storage here, I think. So let's let's try something here. Um, Uh, high voltage. And then we want low, like, well, Something like that. Uh, 
um, and then settings fifteen maybe one hours settings I'm not sure exactly how these things go I didn't do I didn't complete the tutorials um, let's let's just see what happens. All right, they are charging. Oh, we have losses there. Interesting. Yeah, the. Okay. These are just about full. All right, we have a little bit of a safety net, which is good. You know, I'm, I have a feeling that these power lines would be able to draw. If this cuts out, this would be able to draw going the other way. So I, I kind of think these are superfluous. The Tsutsu philosophy. What is that? This is going to only going to do it. We're still doing fine. Okay, yeah, let's. Oh, good lord. Uh, okay pretty decent there energy storage we actually have some uh, some stars in that now okay I'm gonna bulldoze these for our reasons and I'm gonna bulldoze these I'm going to build another substation. Uh, I think we went with a... Yeah, I think we went with a local substation. Here. Okay. High voltage line. And then a slow voltage line. Like that. Why does this have so many losses? This is actually closer. Um, there we go. I just want this one to get all of these. Okay. Did I have any? I did have some research points. Reinforced transformers. I don't really need more power yet. Power loss. That's that's actually a good one. This one's actually pretty good. Okay. So. Lessen the draw on this a little bit. Distribute that a little bit over here. You can see this substation is, is catering to those buildings, and this one is catering to all of those. So,
because I'm I'm a, I'm guessing when this supermarket finishes, it's going to be a bigger draw, which is why I wanted to separate these out. And you can see the 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 load on them right there. Oh, all right. Well, that um, I'm just going to let this day run. And that should do it for this episode. Uh, please hit that like button if you're looking forward to the series. Comment down below if you have tips, tricks, or something to say. Yeah, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time.